Hello, and welcome to another edition of Pulse Larsen's Tech Talk Table. Today I want to briefly describe some differences between LTE Category 4, a general case that all of your cellular devices will use, and LTE Categories M1 and NB-IoT, some more specific cases that can be useful to low-power devices and applications. This table shows some of the simple differences between LTE Category 4 and M1 and NB-IoT. One thing to notice right away is that LTE Category 4 allows MIMO use of two antennas. So you can have a different antenna sending data while one's receiving data. This isn't the case for M1 or MBIOT. You're limited to a single antenna for both sending and receiving data. Another big difference to keep in mind is that the data rate when using M1 or NBIOT protocols is much lower than LTE Cat 4 in general. You'll see these numbers far reduced, both in downloading and uploading. Another difference that's very important is the actual frequency bandwidth used when sending or receiving data. LTE Cat 4 can use up to 20 MHz for these applications. M1 and MBIoT use much narrower bandwidth. Category M1 uses 1.4 MHz, while MBIoT uses only 180 kHz. This much narrower frequency bandwidth actually makes frequency duplexing much easier when you have many devices trying to broadcast in a small environment. Lastly, it can be very valuable to know that with M1 and NB-IoT, you can actually choose to use a radio module that outputs at 20 dBm instead of 23 dBm. That's half the power and allows for less battery usage, less power consumption, and perhaps a longer device life. Along with having a narrower frequency bandwidth that is used when sending and transmitting, another difference with frequency is the actual spectrum that is allowed. Category 4 LTE has a much broader total frequency spectrum where bands are allocated for LTE use. When using M1 or NB-IoT, instead you have a narrower frequency spectrum. Much fewer bands are available for use. However, there's a benefit to this. You'll see that there's a much narrower spectrum specifically in the lower band. This actually makes tuning much easier if your antenna becomes detuned because it's in a very small environment or has metal objects nearby. You'll note that the N1 and NB-IoT spectrums are totally enclosed by the Cat4 spectrums. This means any antenna that was designed for LTE in general should also be available for use for M and NB-IoT. This would include an antenna like our W3907. Designed for LTE, it can also be used for M1 and NB-IoT and a small enclosure. It might be slightly detuned, but it is easily fixable when you have just a narrower spectrum to worry about. Likewise, we have the W3906 that has an LTE feed and also has a GNSS feed. So you can have a device that has CAD M1 and NB-IoT use, as well as GNSS. Our 3554 is another flexible antenna that is used for LTE. And for an embedded option, we offer the W3976, an embedded LTE antenna that can also be tuned if needed to increase your performance for CAD M1 and NB-IoT. That concludes our introductory video on the differences between LTE Cat4 and on CAD M1 and NB-IoT. Tune in for more videos on the subject in the future.